I'm booked in for a haircut. I'm not drunk, I'm just li I'm just happy. Does that look like a portion of nuts to you? I want to eat like 10 times this. Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. It's me, Amy Rebecca, an average girl trying to live a not so average life. and still very much figuring out how to make that happen. We've got big things going on today. I'm booked in for a haircut. That might not sound like big news, but trust me, it is. I've been going to the same hairdresser for 18 years. When I lived in Vietnam, I lived there for six months, I did not get my hair cut once because I've never trusted anyone else to cut my hair. I did get haircuts a couple of times in Bahrain, but when I lived in Kuwait, never got my hair cut. Vietnam, never got my hair cut. I'm just too nervous to let a stranger cut my hair. And today, I'm gonna let a stranger cut my hair. That coffee is weak. That's really bad, I'm actually gonna pour that out. So many people have recommended this salon to me and I don't know if it's because I started therapy again a couple of weeks ago and all of a sudden I feel like I'm really in the mood to make changes. Maybe it's that, I don't know. But I'm going to a new hairdresser and not only that, but I'm going to get a marginally different hairstyle. I've been getting my hair cut in the exact same way for as long as I can remember. I got a bob when I was like 17 and I think I've been, ever since then it's been this. It's gonna be a minuscule difference that probably no one else in the world will even notice, but it's gonna feel very big to me because I'm not good with change. Like I'm good with big change. Moving to Vietnam, not a problem. Kuwait, Bahrain, calling off my engagement. I mean, that wasn't a great time in my life. I wouldn't recommend calling off an engagement, like it doesn't feel good. But I wasn't afraid of the change. That haircut, that's scary. Maybe I need a little bit more perspective in my life. Mmm, I could go. Okay, I am obsessed. I switched from a side part to a middle part. I have betrayed my millennial brethren, but I think it suits me. Although it is trying to migrate back because after 20 years, I don't know, it's like imprinted. So I keep feeling this side of my hair rising up. I got a little bit of face framing and then I got the layers cut shorter. It feels a lot less heavy. I mean, obviously this morning it was just a disaster anyway. It was overgrown, split ends, too thick, too bushy, the whole thing. But by cutting those layers shorter and by putting in more layers, I thought it would make my hair look shorter and it doesn't. I still have the length, but it's just, it feels more styled. I should have done this years ago. This is how it looks from the side and the back. Big fan, I love it. I am feeling so freaking exhausted this afternoon for no particular reason. I just feel like I could clamber back into bed and nap. Also, the last like week, week and a half, I've been so bloated. Sorry, this is an overshare, but like my stomach feels like it is about to rip out of my jeans at any possible second. And it's so frustrating because a couple of months ago, I felt like all my stomach issues were behind me. The bloating was gone, the pain was gone, and now it's all back. It feels like my jeans are sawing my torso in half. I might just take them off and put leggings on. Yeah, who am I trying to impress you? I think we need to do a little bit of an afternoon coffee. <laughs> If you see me reach for the greens powder, you know I am not feeling good because I don't care what anybody says, no one is drinking that stuff for the taste. It literally smells like a farm. Can confirm it tastes as bad as it looks. Today's class at the gym starts at 6.30, so I had to get up at 5.30, which is still the middle of the night. Just realized this is on inside out. So that's how we're doing this morning. Workout done, now it is time 
for therapy. I just absolutely screamed my heart out on the drive home from therapy to Taylor Swift drinking my Starbucks. And if that is not the most millennial cliche thing that you have heard today, I need to know about it. I think I need to sit down. <laughs> The sunshine just makes my life infinitely better. I feel like a whole different, it's a Jekyll and Hyde situation. I feel I'm just, I'm not drunk, I'm just, li I'm just happy. I had quite a productive afternoon actually. I filmed like the longest video in the history of YouTube. It's not gonna be that long now that it's edited, but it was one hour and 38 minutes of footage because I can't shut up. I just couldn't, I just would vomit. So I've edited it, edited it, edited it down to about, I think it's 20, 20 minutes. So I cut out a lot. I haven't finished editing it. Um, and it needs to go up tomorrow, but I just need a break. I'm not good at like step. Oh, <laughs> I just realized how stupid what I was about to say is. I was like, I'm not good at staring at a screen for too long. Literally finished editing and was like, let me just watch TikTok. <laughs> let me just downgrade to a smaller screen. That's fine. But you know what I mean? Like, I find editing quite mentally taxing. It's not that it's hard, but it's boring so I've done about half of it and I'll finish it off tomorrow I want to get it done as quickly as I can tomorrow morning though because I want to start my weekend early I shouldn't I have so much I should be doing but I don't want to because the sun is out and as much as when the sun is out I feel motivated I also feel motivated to just sit outside and read <laughs> I was gonna go for a run this evening I am really focused on getting in three runs a week now because I'm training for a 10k didn't mention that just by the way after the horror that was training for a 5k last year I've decided that I'm training for a 10k don't ask about that I was gonna go today but I just don't feel good in my body like I'm still so bloated I don't know what's going on I put these shorts on today and they are a size too big for me and they are tight. I've got a stomach ache, I've got a little bit of a headache and I just know if I go for a run feeling like this, I'm going to half ass it. I'm gonna have to go tomorrow. I'm gonna have to do the run tomorrow. Don't know where my tripod is, so we're making do and mending. It's not great, but it'll do. And I don't have a lot of time. I got eight minutes and I need to be out the door. I've got so much going on today. It's my nephew's birthday and it's one of my best friend's birthday. So I'm gonna go down to my brother's house, do brunch with the family for my nephew. And then in town, they're having this food festival. That's where we're gonna go and hang out for my friend's birthday. They have like pop-up bars and like different stalls, live music. Nothing goes on in the town where I live. So this is a big deal. The sun is out. It is gonna be 23 degrees today. Oh, I didn't put sun cream on. I need to do that. One of these days I'm gonna apply lip liner and it's gonna look good, but today is not that day. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. not off to the best start today because it is quarter past one in the afternoon and I have achieved nothing. I had a really great time yesterday at the food festival. Weather was great, stuffed my face. I had a Nutella crepe that was sublime. But I was really annoyed because when I got to my brother's house and then again at the food festival, a few people were talking about how on Friday night the northern lights were here. Just like in the UK. Just like properly full-on northern lights. I like 11 or 12 p.m. I think people were saying and like loads of people were just out in their garden watching it I was awake at that point. I couldn't sleep Friday night So I was just up in my room watching Netflix and if I'd known that Opening my curtains I would have seen the northern lights. I Feel like that's something that should have been better advertised Even the people I spoke to who did see it saw it by accident. They didn't know that it was gonna happen They just happened to be out in the garden and they were like, oh cool. It's like being in Norway I'm like really I'm sorry that I'm ranting, but I'm so annoyed and then yesterday Last night I stayed up until about one o'clock in like, you know when you just know 
that it's not gonna happen you just know that something is just not working out but you you have this stubborn determination that's where I was yesterday I was like the northern lights have gone they're not coming back I am not gonna see them but I still forced myself to stay up until I physically couldn't any longer just looking out the window like I'm so sad that I didn't get to see them on Friday so yeah I'm kind of upset and irritated about that. I'm feeling so lazy today and I think it's the heat because it's kind of muggy today. It's cloudy but it's that kind of like sticky gross heat. I just can't really be bothered to move. Probably because I was up all last night trying to watch the northern lights. I do need to go for a run today which I'm not looking forward to in this weather but I gotta do it. Gotta get my butt out there and run. I have a brownie in the fridge from the food festival yesterday and I'm trying to work out like what is the most ideal time to eat that brownie. I think it's probably when I get back from the run because when I'm running, I can run home. Run home to the brownie. I'm really excited about this brownie. Look, I know what I said, but it is really hot out there and it's gonna be hours before it's cool enough for me to go for a run and I can't stop thinking about the brownie. I need to eat it. I have to eat it, I must. I can't, no one's here to stop me. Look at how incredible that looks. How am I supposed to just go about my life when this is in the fridge waiting for me? I can't, I can't do it. I'm excited to run, I am thrilled. There is nowhere I would rather be in this life right now than running. I'm feeling so proud of my little legs. <laughs> so I made myself, with absolutely no experience or clue how training plans work, a 10k training plan. It's over 14 weeks, which I know for people who are good at running seems like an excessively long amount of time, but running is really freaking hard for me and I need to build up in really tiny increments. So today was a 3k run and I did it. It was really freaking windy down the beach, which is good in a way because it was so hot, it would have been difficult to run in that heat and the wind took the edge off, but <laughs> it was very windy. I felt like I was gonna get blown off my feet at one point. So I came back, I've showered, I've not attempted to wash my hair because it's nothing that a little dry shampoo won't fix. And to be honest, I go to the gym five times a week and I run three times a week now. Am I gonna wash my hair eight times a week? No. By the way, yes, I am smothering my face with TCP. It is the best thing you can put on spots and I don't care what anyone says. It stinks and it burns, but it does the job. I'm still getting like some purging from using tretinoin. I think I'm coming to the end of the purge stage though. And then my chin is just purely dairy related because I stuffed my face with cheese yesterday when I got home from the food festival. I am not sure that tretinoin should be going on top of TCP. I might wake up with half of my face peeling off. I hope not. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog so I can go and grab something to eat. Thank you so much for joining me for the week. Remember that you are enough just as you are. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.